Hi friends, it's Anne here, and today's video is the intro to my 2022 Lip Project Pan. So I did this last year and I thought it went really well with a couple of exceptions. So I'm gonna do it again this year, but I'm making a couple little changes. So first change is the products that I'm panning. The panning part is gonna be small. And then this is also my Lip Project lip roulette project for 2022. So I'm gonna have like a panning portion and then I'm having a roulette portion. So let's just quickly talk about the products that I'm gonna start working on panning. And how I've decided to do this is do like a category type thing. I'm actually gonna, let me scooch over a little bit to the side here. My camera's really set up at a strange angle um, cause I was taking some photos, but grab the laptop here. So for panning, I have five categories. I have a lipstick category, um, or just sort of like any sort of lip type bullet, lip crayon, liquid, liquefied lip, potentially liquid lip, but I don't know if I would do a liquid lip. And the, the second category is a lip balm. The third category is a lip oil. The fourth category is a lip gloss. And the fifth category is a lip mask. To get started, I've decided to pick the Marc Jacobs Lamarck lipstick in Slow Burn. This is a mini and this is a carryover from last year. So this little guy, I figure it was a good start to start with a small lipstick. I feel like I started making pretty good progress on this near the end of last year and I wanna keep that momentum going. Um, I started really enjoying this product once I focused on it a little bit more. So um, I haven't done Yes, I have done weights. Okay, so this is the this is the weird thing with the weights on this, and you'll see it coming. So this currently weighs 11 grams. For lip balm, I decided to pick this Nivea Hydracare um, Basic Lip Balm. I've already marked the side there. There we go. So we've got a lot of product on this. I've already panned one of these. I think it was in last year's product project. Focus. Hello. <laughs> there we go. I think it was in last year's project that I panned one of these and this is the second one I have. It's pretty old um, So I'm ready to use this and move it out, but I would definitely repurchase these. I really really like it The start weight of this is exactly 13 grams. I'm actually doing something a little different to start I've picked this as my lip oil, but I feel like it's very lip gloss like so I'm doing a combined lip oil lip gloss I don't have a separate lip gloss. This is Technically though in the lip oil category. So this is just the basic elf lip oil. I don't know what shade this is in. Nude Kiss. Um, and I've put the mark on the side. Hopefully you can see. This should be a pretty satisfying product, although I kind of tipped it over, so I don't know how well you can see it right now. Um, but it definitely visually will show the difference um, as it goes down. So I'm pretty excited to use this. I've been kind of on and off testing this over December and I feel like this is a slightly thicker product and so I think it should go fairly well. Um, I don't want to say quickly because we know things take forever um, but it, it, it lives between, it feels a little bit like a lip oil and also a little bit like a lip gloss. It definitely has the tint like a lip gloss as well and I felt like if I picked a lip gloss it would be too redundant to this product um, and I didn't want to pick another lip oil just yet so I figured let's just focus on this for now. The start weight of this is exactly <laughs> 32 grams. I thought there was something wrong with my scale. So my scale is a jewelry scale, so it goes to like 0 0.00 grams. All of these are like exactly even. I, I weighed them twice too to make sure. <laughs> and then the lip mask I decided to pick is this Bite uh, Agave lip mask. I think this is the old formula. I've had this for a really long time. I actually have a mini of one of these as well. So that's why I decided to pick this. This is the full size. Again, I've been kind of using this on and off in December and I feel like it's going pretty quickly. So that's kind of where we're at now. Hopefully we can see that on the camera and then next update I'll try and do a screenshot and side by side them and see where they're at. But I've, it's a fairly thick product. So I'm surprised that I'm going through it as like, it's not taking as long as I thought it might've taken to kind of see some progress in here. So the total weight of this is 15 grams, which I think is a little bit smaller than I think the Laneige was like 20 grams, maybe not. Um, but yeah, so I think this will go, again, I'm anticipating it to take a long time and that's fine. Like I said, I have a mini of this as well 
And I also have a Burt's Bees lip mask, and that's all the lip masks I have. So I feel like once this one's done, I'll be comfortable buying a new Laneige one. Um, so the start weight of this, again, an even number at 16 grams. It's just so weird. Okay, I'm scooched over because I'm gonna put some pictures over here, hopefully. So the next part is my roulette portion. So I've gone through all of my lip products. I've done an inventory of all of my lip products. Not an exact science. The way this is going to kind of work is it's kind of a combination of like a 365 day lip, um, also like Kat's lip lip -ocalypse, lip yeah, lip -ocalypse. Wow, that sounds really weird. Now you actually say it out loud. <laughs> um, and I think Samantha March did something similar to this previously where she had like a monthly roundup of lip products that she did. So I've sort of made, went through all my products, I made some specific categories where I could bundle things together. So I have a category of liquid lipsticks, a category of what I call lippies. So that's like bullet lipsticks, the lippy sticks from ColourPop. Um, yeah, basically anything that's like a regular lipstick. Um, that also includes, I have what I'm calling liquefied lipstick. So I have a couple products that are like a liquid lipstick, but they're not a dry down formula. So they're just like a liquefied lipstick. So they go in that category. Lip liners, lip tints. So like the Color Riche Balm that I was using in my project last year, which didn't make it into my December empties if you watch that, but it's pretty much done now. So it'll be in my January empties. Um, and then lip gloss is my last category. So I have taking out a couple of things because I have a double of Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Um, I excluded a couple of green lipsticks and a white lipstick because they're just, I'm not gonna, if I pull those, it's gonna be to mix with something or do something. It's its not something I'm gonna wear just on its own. So I took the two green lipsticks out um, and a white lipstick and I have in total 138 items. Again, that includes lip liners. When I divvy it all out, it's not perfect, but it works out to about picking two liquid lipsticks a month, uh, five lipsticks or lippy sticks or any type, type of regular lip product, two lip liners, one lip tint, and two lip glosses. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'm doing partial picks, so I think it was Nicole. Somebody mentioned like, you probably don't want to do all roulette because what if you got like all dark colors in like July? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a good point. So I've divided it up. I have eight things that I'm picking and then four things that I'm rouletting. So let's get into the products. For lip gloss, I picked the Sephora Glossy Gloss uh, Lip Gloss in Chestnut Cream. So I was using one of these in a different color in my project pan last year that I pulled out. Um, these are so full. There's so much product in these. I don't know if it says on the side. Uh, it's in milliliters, 15 milliliters. I don't know what that really works out in terms of grams, but yeah, like these are a lot bigger than I thought they were. I do really like this color. I don't really like it on its own though. It's not something, it can look kind of wonky on its own because it's definitely metallic-y and these have like glitters in them. I noticed that too with the, the Berry Shake one, which is the pink one I have that's like this. It's more like a, a mauve pink. And you don't really notice the glitters when you put it on, but as the lip gloss wears away, or like if I do a swatch on my hand and I wipe it, then you see the glitters. They're not too bad. This is a very similar formula to the Fenty Gloss Bombs, maybe a hair tackier. Ah! There's something a bit more plumper in the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is like a slightly, slightly less plump version, like plushy version, if you know what I mean. Like if you use a gloss bomb, you know what I mean? It's like plushy. Um, this is a little bit thinner, but the same kind of texture and consistency. I'm pretty sure they discontinue these or they change them. I think they're like, they have these tall skinny ones now, but I don't think, I don't know if the formula is the same or not. So like, they're not something that's re like I can repurchase. And then the roulette one that it picked, what's this? I'm just kind of like, oh, <laughs> I was using this all of last year. So I'm a little sad, but it's like, whatever, use it now get it out of the way. It's the Revlon Kiss Pumping Lip Cream. This is in the shade 525 Barely Blush. Something that I've grown to like a little bit more. I think I just don't like the application method of this. I think if this were in like a lip gloss type packaging, kind of like, like this, I would like it a lot better. It's the same as this. They're both the same kind of packaging, like the plasticky squeezy tube thing, like this. I don't really like this formula or like this packaging method. 
For lip liners, I decided to just pick lip liners. I originally had it like one would be a pick and one would be a roulette, but I'm like, you know what? I should just pick the lip liners based on the lipsticks and at least get through all of them because it just makes sense to for usability. So the first one I picked was the ColourPop Lippy, uh, Lippy Sticks. No, lip liner. I don't know what they call these. I guess just lip liner in Contempo. This was in a project a while ago. I actually almost put this in my project pan, but I decided to put the Annabelle one in because that's older. <laughs> After testing this out right now, I was like, wow, that's gotten really dry. Um, I'm kind of thinking like I probably should have put this in a project pan. I don't know. This might, if I'm finding over this next month that this is really dry, then I might declutter it. Um, the color's okay. I like the color of Oh Snap better than this. Um, but I think it will pair nicely with some of the lip products I've picked. I think it'll pair nicely with the uh, Marc Jacobs Slow Burn. And then the next lip liner I picked is this one from the Color Work Workshop. I can't remember which set this is from. I think it's from the 2018, the big set that I got. Um, I call this the purple pink color because <laughs> it's the purple pink one. There's one that's like a magenta pink and then a light pink or something. I can't remember. I have three, <laughs> three of them. The one thing I hate about these is the lid is really loose like the lid doesn't stay on and for that reason I might end up decluttering these before I use them up um, but I do like them because they're very unique colors they're not colors that I would have normally picked out myself so and I think they're gonna look really good with some of the lip colors that I picked so I picked the Contempo lip liner first and then after I pulled the lippies I was like you know what maybe I shouldn't roulette the lip liner maybe I should also just pick the lip, uh, a second lip liner so that's why I picked this one because it will match you'll see some of the upcoming lip color colors this will work well with it the lip tint I picked is this CoverGirl Nature Lux lip tint in Muscat. This is super old. Um, I panned one of these already. I do really like this color. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's, it's really nice. I think, yes, this was a product that was one of my mom's, so it's kind of like a bittersweet to hanging on to it. I have a couple of items. I have a couple other things that I'm, I have in my collection that I've been slowly pulling them out because I don't wear them. Um, and I have them with like a box of stuff on my mom's and I think that this is going to eventually go there too. Like I don't, I don't see myself finishing this, but I do want to use it a little bit more um, before I decide to like take it out of the collection. You've also seen this before because <laughs> this was in some sort of project pan at some point and then I realized, oh my god, it's going to take me forever to use this up. This is the CoverGirl Continuous Lipstick in the shade Vintage Wine. I love this. It's a really berry pink color, but like not a deep berry, a brighter berry. And I don't know, I just love this lipstick so much and I'm gonna be so sad once it's done and I think it's gonna end up going because I had to get rid of one of these, well, this past year, uh, 2021, I think. It's in the shade Mocha, I wanna say. Love the color of that. Definitely started smelling off and it was definitely leaving like a tint. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember doing that when I first got it. Um, this one still smells fine. Doesn't smell weird. Smells like a lipstick, but it doesn't smell bad. Whereas like the other one, I could smell bad. Like when I put it on my face, I was like, I can smell it. And I was like, yeah, no, that's no good anymore. <laughs> this one's still fine. Um, yeah, I'll be sad when I finish this one eventually or when I have to declutter it. But I like this color in the winter time. I like it actually all year round, but I feel like winter time, it just feels like a winter time type color for me. The next one I picked again was in a very similar vein to that. This is the Maybelline Color Sensation in Blissful Berry. Love this color. It's a purple, but a wearable purple. It's not too intimidating. It is a little intense, but it's just a really, really pretty color. I love this formula. I think I only have two in this formula, um, but it's a really, really nice formula. And again, it's a very, to me, it's a very winter, fall, winter type color. It's a nice deep color. Although I do like wearing purple in the summer too but maybe a little bit of a brighter purple um but yeah I, I really like this color I feel like I don't wear it enough it's so not mask friendly that's the other thing too is like we're still wearing masks here I know it seems a bit different in the states I don't really know what's going on in the states right now it's very confusing um but there here things haven't really changed we still have like you know rules in terms of how many people can go into a place they did have things pretty open for a while like a lot larger caps on stuff um, but you still have to wear masks inside everywhere like I live in a condo building so I have to wear a mask as soon as I leave my door which is kind of annoying <laughs> um, it's nice when I go home to my family home it's like I can walk out my door and I don't have to throw a mask on until I go into a store um, but anyway that's a total side tangent so yeah that was one of the reasons I felt like I didn't use a lot of my lipsticks last year because they're just not mask friendly um, like this is not a mask friendly <laughs> lipstick I wouldn't I would maybe wear it if I made sure I like blotted it down um, or I'd been wearing it for several hours and like 
I don't really care too much if it does transfer onto the mask. I more care that if it's too goopy, it might transfer all over my face too. And that's, I don't want that. Um, anyway, total tangent on that one. And then the last one that I picked, so I'm picking three lippies and then two roulettes. So the last one I picked is this Bite Amuse Bouge uh, lipstick in Chai. It's a shame that they've kind of like, I know they reformulated, I think, to go vegan, but it sounds like they really screwed it up. Because <laughs> um, it's like, what, where is Bite today? What do they even have? I have no idea. Um, this is one of my favorites. I had to, again, decut a couple of these this year because they went bad. De um, Bite is known for like edible ingredients, so I don't think they use a lot of preservative type stuff. So it means that their lipsticks are gonna go bad faster than other lipsticks that have some of the preserving type ingredients. But yeah, I, I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. I've pretty much kept all my favorite colors, I think. So like, if I were to list the top, my top four favorite colors are chai, rhubarb, pepper, and honeycomb. And those are, I think, the four that I have. Um, I don't know if any of those exist in any of the new lines or any of the new lipsticks that they've made. Okay, and then the two that <laughs> got rouletted. So the first one that went through the roulette, and I was kind of like, I'm not sure how much, how I feel about this lipstick yet. This is the Bella Pierre lipstick in Sassy. I laugh because I have three lip products with the name Sass. I have two Sassies and one Sass. <laughs> like, what are you trying to tell me, people? You saying I'm sassy? I'm not very sassy, to be honest. <laughs> Although my dad might disagree. <laughs> but this shade is like, it's this weird in-between, kind of bright, kind of not orange. I don't know. It's... I, I have I have feelings about this. I just don't know where they are yet. <laughs> um, and it's a very, very thick pigmented lipstick and I'm not sure I really love that either. Like, I kind of like sheer formulas. It's one thing I've kind of learned over this past year is I do like a sheer lipstick type formula. One that kind of is buildable but it's thin. I don't like really feeling a, a thick lipstick. I think too when it's thick I'm afraid it's going to be like all over my face in two seconds because sometimes it is. Um, I've also learned <laughs> I tend to lean on my hand. <laughs> I was trying out red lipsticks over the winter time, over December, and one day I was like doing something and I caught up and I had like lipstick everywhere and I was like, oh shit, I don't realize. Like, and I, I do it all the time and it made me much more aware that I do this. I lean on my hand often or I touch my lip somehow. I don't know how I do it, but anyway, it's a hot mess. Speaking of reds, the roulette then picked out this Julep Plush Pout Lip Crayon. I don't love this formula or this format. It's a very thick, stubby lipstick. It's got this creamy core, which actually feels really nice. And again, this is slightly sheer, and I think that's one of the reasons why I like this. And I love this color. I don't have anything else, else this color. It's a very pinky red, and I feel like that's very flattering for me. I think I look better in a pinky red, like a blue-toned red, than a warm red. I mean, I don't mind warm reds, but I think pink reds are better for me, and I feel more comfortable in a pink red. Again, I kind of, so I don't know how well, I haven't, I took a whole bunch of pictures just before I filmed this. I don't know how well the application is, because I kind of rushed through them, but I would apply this, or when I try and use this over the next month, I'm going to use the lip brush to apply it because I think I'll get a bit better of an application. But yeah, this is like pretty full. I, I don't use it very often because again, I'm afraid of it going all over my face, but I love it. Um, kind of sad that I picked that again because like I said, I was using that and all my other reds in December, so it's like ugh, red again. So my last category is liquid lipstick and I'm picking one liquid lipstick and then I am having a roulette of one liquid lipstick. So the first one is the one that I've been wearing throughout this video. It's the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Story. So this is from the original Samantha March collection. I bought the like PR kit and I really was excited about everything except for this because I was like, oh, it's going to be really dark and I'm not going to like it. I like, I really like this. <laughs> um, I like the formula of, of Ofra's liquid lipsticks. They're thinner. So yeah, I really like the way this feels. I like the way it looks. I am very impressed with this and it's not nearly as dark as I thought it was gonna be so yeah I'm quite happy with this surprisingly and then the roulette I also picked an Ofra lipstick so the roulette picked the Ofra long, la long lasting lipstick liquid lipstick in Santorini I think this came in a boxy charm I don't love this I need to play with this over the month this potentially might be a declutter I feel like like I said, they're a thin formula, and I feel like this is a bit, it was almost blotchy. Like, I would get, 
like it must be separating maybe I'm not sure maybe I just need to really like mix it before I go to use it um, it's got like a metallic type fin finish and I don't mind that I know a lot of people don't like a metallic lip I think there's a time and a place and I kind of like the way it looks sometimes um, there's a point where it's too frosty uh, but I don't mind I don't mind a metallic lip at times again not I don't want like space beam astronaut you know aluminum type metallic but this is like not super metallic -y. I don't feel like anyway I don't know maybe other people uh, differ on that but I do really like this color though like it's a nice bright fuchsia color and I think it's a really pretty color again not something I would normally wear um, I'm not normally on a day-to-day -day gonna pull this but I like having something a little different just to mix up the collection and you know push me out of my bounds a little bit so those are the items for my roulette portion of my lip project pan. And so how I'm gonna do this is, I have actually weighed all of those items. I ha haven't decided if I'm gonna like try and do usage on any of them or really weigh them, but like care about using, using the ones. Like some of those I might use once, <laughs> maybe twice in the month and that's okay. Um, I'll see how it goes. I haven't really decided that portion of it yet. I just want to make sure I at least use everything in my collection. Um, and I wanted to have my panning part a little bit smaller, a little bit more targeted. So that's where I'm going to put more of my energy in because I do want to try and I realized like when I had too many products last year, some things were conflicting and it was hard to get usage through some stuff because I was only doing tiny bits on each thing. And I, I want to feel like I'm getting through a few more things without neglecting the rest of my collection um, and there may be some declutters here and there through this because I am going through my whole thing um, like I've talked about this in previous things I'm not too stressed about decluttering too much in my lip collection because if I declutter too much to me it's just mental space to add more <laughs> Whereas if I have, like right now I have a lot and I, it, it forces me to think carefully, do I want to bring more into that? Cause I'm not using things that things aren't going out. Does that make any sense? I play these psychological games with myself <laughs> with these, uh, lip project or with these project pans it feels like sometimes i hope you like this little introduction again i'm not sure how like we're doing a little different we might be a little shaky here at the beginning of the year but hopefully once like you know april may comes around i'll have a rhythm um but this is how we're rolling <laughs> to start with and yeah i'll be back the updates for this will be sort of closer to mid-month like not at the beginning of the month but i know last year i was doing it like around the 15th to the 17th i'm gonna try and inch it a little earlier so somewhere between the, like between the 8th and the 15th somewhere around there is when I'm going to do these updates but I, I do want to have a bit of flexibility in terms of exactly uh, when they're going to come out but that's when the next update will be so it'll probably be early February before mid mid month in February is the next update I'm starting to ramble now so that's time to wrap up this video I hope you like this video if you did feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below and if you haven't already I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto Canada I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon bye